Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Hey We're Talking. Because we're talking. So, hey, what's up? <laughs> Behind Bob, <laughs> you'll see that it's, uh, Merry Christmas. I think it's supposed to say Merry Christmas, but the white. That's a Merry Christmas. Well, it, yeah. The white letters the... are blurred out or something. No, they're just in white. It's probably That's like, all... Merry Christmas. Is Merry is Mer... Mer... Christmas. There you go. I'm squatting down now. Now maybe you can see it. Merry Christmas. Uh... If you can't see it, you don't... I'll just burn the sign. No, don't be. burn it. <laughs> Not in here. I'll take it outside and burn it. You'll need to you're... adjust the contrast for us to see the 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 white letters. They, <laughs> they, they, they kind of blend it, into the background having, of the sign. I'm having Back. lighting problems. So we're make. I think we're saying stuff about his lighting, although he has good lighting. So is Derek. Derek's just in some room, probably just flipped on a light, and he's got great lighting. I... I got these doohickeys that aren't, they're in lamps, but they're not professional lighting. And you don't care if you're listening to the podcast, you can't yeah, see anything why? anyway. Yeah. But I'm describing, Spent I'm setting up theater of the mind for you here. Theater 15 of the minutes mind. of fixing the lighting <laughs> for the podcast. Wait, fi- wait, fi- wait, no, hold on. It was like that a half was not hour. 15 minutes. That was a, more about a half hour to 45 minutes so we could fix his lighting for are the podcast. Gonna, are, should we start talking about you fixing your microphones? Hey, it's fixed, buddy. Yeah, I know. You don't sound like you're in a gas chamber anymore. No, I was in a too bathroom soon. before. Too I was soon. just take, I was taking a dump and, you know, just right. trying to record a show. So, again, welcome to Hey, We're Talking. It's me, Scotty D, and the Hizzy. <laughs> with, with, with don't do that, Derek That's cool. and Bob. Hi, I'm Derek. <laughs> That's I'm Derek. Bob. You can't see them if you're listening, but if you're watching, you see them. That's the. If you're listening, it, you know our voices by now. Maybe we. I think we probably all sound like Midwestern white guys. Little do they know, uh, I was born in Saudi Arabia, which is not uh, the Midwest. Correct. I was born and bred there learned the customs had my own camel and uh i would take him on walks i called him humpy i feel so, like you're going to go political it's at, at no point. there's no go, politics here at all no, no nothing i feel no, like no no I'm trying to stay, t- keep one show away from politics. i'm not going to talk about you guys you guys keep saying the word i'm not going to talk about politics i'm going to talk about black friday because it just happened and Black Friday might sound political, but it's not. I'm not being racist. I'm not bringing up. It's Black Friday is because the the stores are in the black. They're, instead of being in it. the red, it's an accounting term, people. I swear, don't call me names. Black Friday, okay, is the name of the most game. adults. Did most e- adults did know that. Did either of you guys go out on Black Friday? I went to work. Oh. Wait a minute, I, sad. Yeah, I work from home. Um, I did not actually leave you the went, house. You until... actually worked on Black Friday? Yeah, I work from home, though. You know, I just, I, I, as long as I have a laptop, I'm good. I can work from anywhere. So I just fired up the laptop early in the morning, Friday, and uh, just sat at my table, drank some coffee, and I think I was in a robe, too. And oh, I just worked. Hey. I know, isn't that amazing? You did, but you seriously, neither one of you went out and bought anything on Black Friday? I went to work, Scott. At late at night. I slept during the day, and then I went to work. Not late at night, early evening. Early evening. Evening, evening, evening. Good evening. Good uh, evening. The reality reality of it for me is, I mean, my kids are teenagers, yeah. and you yeah. think that, I mean, most teenagers, they want there's that one item that they want that the parents rush out for, all that stuff. My kids are pretty good, man. I, they don't. They don't, I mean, it's hard for them to even come up with a Christmas list right now. We're having a difficult time to start shopping and everything. Um, so there was no big ticket items that I needed at all. And right. I went Black Friday shopping one time, and that was the end of it for yeah. me. I'll never do it again. His kids don't get a lot this year because he's bought so many microphones. But uh... Right. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to, you know, I've got, I've got this little studio, you know, at my yeah. house, and I'm trying right. to find out what works best for 
on my space that I have. And, and yeah, it takes some experimenting. So none of you went to the Nike outlet store in Seattle is what you're telling me, Bob. No, I definitely did not go to. <laughs> what happened the, there? Because you said you wanted to talk about that. What happened? Well, I'm sure it was all around social media, all around the news, everything. Uh, apparently, you know, the Nike store had some good sales, which you would expect on Black Friday. Um, but by the time people were done there, the place was trashed. It looked like a tornado literally hit the place. Uh, people just ru- get rushing through the store, flipping lids open, trying to find the right, you know, size shoe and not caring and throwing them on the ground and uh, if you haven't seen Savages, pictures of it man. just google Nike store in Seattle Black <laughs> Friday and you're going to find so much it's unbelievable it's I'm usually a... go ahead Derek I'm sorry well I haven't been to a, a Nike outlet store in 20 years but there was a, there's an outlet mall in Conroe Texas just north of Houston and when we were when I was a teenager Family and I, we were of you know rather me, you know modest means, so we went to the Nike outlet store and I bought a lot of swooshy, just do it shirts. <laughs> I, I do have a funny little story. I was going through my high school yearbooks yeah. a few years ago, and um, you know I, I'm I was I'm a lot different than I was in high school. I'm probably no. I'm probably more. It, forgive the term. I'm a lot more cool nowadays. Than... <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> a little bit more outgoing. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more stylish. Okay. Whatever. But I was uh, looking through my junior and my senior year uh, yearbooks, and me and this other girl, we were both named most intelligent for those years most and intelligent that's awesome most inte- I mean it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the you know he was, was in, but... he was in the math club the chess club everything but there was picture of the junior year picture senior year me and the girl uh-huh. and I'm wearing the exact same t-shirt in both of these pictures that's and it's amazing. a Nike outlet store t-shirt with you know with a bit basketball just do it and I was the least athletic person in the entire school, but it made you I mean, feel you good. Could, I mean, that's it did not make me feel good that I was wearing the same T-shirt, you know, two years in a row, same pose. You know, we were in the library, like <laughs> both reaching for the book. You know, <laughs> I'm on one side, she's on the other. We're both reaching, like, hey, we're smart. <laughs> she yes. is smart, by the way. She's like a neuropsychologist. Wow. And like, I'm like, wow. I'm still follow her on Facebook. How you doing, Joy? How you doing? Yeah, Joy's probably listening to the podcast. Right yeah, now. totally. She's probably not. She's no. trying to gain more knowledge. So I didn't have uh, – in in my high school, there was no, like, most likely twos or anything like that. We had to put our our life verse from the Bible. Zip, zap, <laughs> soup. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there was no most likely two. In my yearbook, and I graduated a long time ago. I don't know if they do that. You graduated uh, in made like, you uh, they made you put a Bible verse in your high school yearbook. That yeah, because sounds... I went to a Christian school. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Well, there you go. yeah, I went to some public school in Michigan, and they made us put Bible. Well, verses hey, you know, what, it seems you know, wildly unconstitutional. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> to be honest, I mean, you think about it. You you go back some years. I mean, Scott graduated high school in seventy uh, three. So, mm-hmm. you know, you think about the time. I skipped about... literally 15 grades, and I graduated in 1973. Yeah, but... there you go. So, I mean, think about it. I mean, back in, back in as years have gone by, you know, Christianity this bit, within this, this bit's schools. falling apart as he's doing it. Go ahead. I can't even talk now. You... <laughs> you were getting flustered. I was just saying it's falling apart. So... Shopping is cool on Black Friday. I didn't shop either. Oh, we're done I... being jerks to each other? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I bought everything online. I just went nutso online. So did you wait till Cyber Monday, or did you just do it on Friday? No, they skip that now. They, they, they tell you that there's going to be all these amazing Cyber Monday deals, but everybody does Black Friday deals online now, too. So it's like uh, my dad needed a new iPad, so I went and found him a new iPad. I didn't buy it for him, of course. He reimbursed me. Thanks, Dad. But he he's not he's not the type of person that will go shopping online. 
He doesn't trust the online stuff. He actually, no. listen to this. I don't know if you guys remember this. You might be too young to remember this, but there was a day back in the day where you actually had to go to, like, the insurance uh, company that you had your car insurance with. You had to go to the actual place and get your card and get your insurance for your next car. Uh, now you do all that stuff online. You can just call somebody. I mean, literally, you don't have to. You don't really have to talk to a person to do half of anything anymore. No, I've got uh, I've got the insurance company I use. I have a mobile phone app and yeah. my insurance card right there. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So I called my dad the other day, and uh, you know he's got a cell phone now, so he's he's up with that. He's even got he's even got an iPhone. Okay. Oh, I was going to ask, what kind of flip phone he is does, it? He does. No, he used to have one, and then I, I got him into the Apple atmosphere, and he, he liked his iPhone. So anyway, I call him the other day, He answer, and here's the thing, too, with my dad. He answers no matter where he is. He could be in the doctor's office, and the guy could be doing a procedure on him, like sewing something into his skull, and he'd be like, oh, I got to catch, I got to get this. It's my son. And he'll pick it up. I go, hey, Dad, what you, I, how you doing? And I can tell that something's going on, so I'll say, am I catching you at a bad time? He goes, yeah, I'm at the doctor's office right now. And I go, oh, well, then I'll call you back. Just <laughs> let me know when you're done. Phone? I'll call you back. I've called him before, and he's in. He's literally at church for some kind of meeting that I didn't know about. He'll, he'll, he'll step out of church. Hey, what's going on? I go, all right, all right can, am I catching you at a bad time? Oh, I'm at church right now. I go, I'll call you back then. What are you, what are you answering your phone for during church? Right. So that's how he is. Anyway, so I call him. He's at the he's at the actual insurance place, getting his new insurance card for a car they're getting. And I was just kind of like, this is so bizarre. Nobody does this stuff anymore. He doesn't. I pay do. His... You do. Jerk. Yeah. Why? I bought a car this year, and I went to my insurance place. I'm friends with my insurance. Okay, agent. that makes more sense. That, that's but good. I still I still do that anyway. Even if I didn't like the guy, you would, I would go still in go there. Really? Yeah, I go in. I go in there. They sometimes take pictures of the vehicle. They're like, "Yeah, nice." Really? Wow. You know? It's like old. It's old timey. It's not even. That's like. I mean, it's a better time, probably. It's you know, like ain't be and stuff <laughs> like that. I mean, I'm Andy sure. Griffith I'm sure show. I could do the the online stuff, but you know, it's a small town, twenty five thousand people. Uh, probably you, one of the reasons I'm not really doing Black Friday. Is because you live in Mayberry. Big spring, but yeah, <laughs> I don't live in Bayberry. Where's Mayberry? Tech? No, I get it. I get what you're saying, Scott. I get your reference, but no, that there's there's a couple reasons why I'm not really doing a lot of holiday shopping. Number one, uh, my son's gonna be gone for Christmas. He's going to visit his mother in Alabama. <laughs> I love so the way you say you that. In by Alabama, the way. if you what? what you his the way you say it is mother. <laughs> Oh, she's not listening. That's okay. And if she and if she is, how you doing, Jessica? And if she um, decides to call during the show, she'll be on the show. Oh, right. I better, I better <laughs> silence the phone. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Episode one. Uh, shenanigans. Um, John's gonna be gone. He's gonna be visiting his mother yeah. in in Alabama. So if any of you listeners out there live in Alabama, I apologize. I will not be visiting you ever. <laughs> um, so he just wants, I think he's, he, he just wants like an Amazon gift card. He just wants, so I'm going to get like, yeah, he loves, he just, I'm just going to give him like 200 bucks or something from, from Amazon. And that's all he wants. He don't care. That's easy. He's 13. He yeah. Cares. Yeah. And then my wife and I, we're, my wife, yeah, we've got, yeah, my wife, we, we're doing trips and things like that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go see Billy Joel in a couple of weeks for her birthday, and then we're gonna go into Vegas next uh, in February. And we're when gonna see Elton February? John, uh, February seventh oh. or tenth. I think you guys like already that. talked about this, and you're gonna miss no, each no, other actually, by like a day or two. We know somebody else that's going to be there at the same time as you, gentlemen. <laughs> Jim, gentlemen, Jim will be there in Vegas that weekend, and then I'm actually coming into town on Monday. So, hey, everybody who's thinking about robbing any of these people, that's where they'll be. They'll <laughs> oh, you be in don't Las Vegas. Oh, don't worry. You try to it, rob my house. Somebody will probably I'll, steal the lights off of Bob's house that he put up at Christmas and drop their phone. May, then, yeah. 
<laughs> he put this thing up on Facebook, and I right away I was like, "Huh, that's interesting." He's got the person's profile. I click on it, and it takes you to your profile. So he's basically like, "You're the robber, and I'm coming right, for you." The, it's one of those Facebook things. I just thought I saw somebody else post it. I'm like, you know what? This will be fun. Get a reaction out of some people. Because when I clicked it, I'm like, whoa. Oh, that's not, I didn't do it, you know? Um, so I went and posted it. And then I, I think I posted it on Hardly on anybody Saturday. got the joke. No, nobody did because they didn't read the whole thing. Yeah. So I, I go to church on Saturday and, you know, I'm standing pretty much right inside and I got people walking into church. Hey, man, hey man I'm sorry to hear about your lights. I'm like, <laughs> What? what? <laughs> and they're just walking in, walking by me. Hey, man, sorry to hear. You need more lights? I'm like, oh, my gosh. And then I go and I look at all my comments on there, and people are like, what jerks? And it's like, do you guys realize this is a joke? I just took it down, man. I couldn't. You're I just couldn't like, have... you know what? Nobody gets the humor. It's like the other one that you do. I think you do this. Mick does this, and another friend of mine does this. It's these uh, Facebook posts where it's a video, and it's like, world's most amazing crash and nothing ever happens it's like 20 minutes of this guy yes. just going <laughs> yep. so I just I just posted one the world's largest bubble and it's as a guy soon as he does it I just go blip next no you don't because you, no, you stare I, at it for a second no, you're like I, wait is this gonna repeat nope. as soon as he went like this and he was like Bleh. I was like this is one of those stupid things it's gonna go on forever so the I reason, clicked away and it did it went on for a minute and then it just went on the loop the, the reason I repost them is I'm the idiot that falls for them. I sit there, I'm like, wow, the world's biggest bubble? They are, they are. He's, he's prepping? The they, yeah, it's the way that they okay. write them, too. The, the way they title them, you go, oh, my gosh, this is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah, and it, it never is. That crash one that you referred to, I'm sure you guys that are listening have seen it before. The, the one you're referring to, man, I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is going to be so intense. And Because I love watching those videos. I'll just go on YouTube and Google, um, Google, you know, you know, crashes during the winter and stuff and just watch all these these pile ups and oh, stuff. Gosh. And so when when that car one came through, I'm just like, oh my gosh. This is and gonna I'm be just great. Watching. It's turning, it's going, it's like, oh come on, come on. And then I realize, oh crap. It's just repeating over it's and over again. Never just... gonna end. It never no, and I'm, I'm ends. the guy that falls for it, so if you happen to find me on Facebook or you post it on our, our Facebook page or anything, I will fall for it. We know the videos that are now making their way to Facebook are the the pimple popping videos. Oh my gosh! Do dang it! I can't, guys. Don't, don't, don't so, even talk about. It. I can't so, do it. My wife is a nurse. Um, and she sees some of these these videos and she's looking at it from a medical perspective. No, different she's not. Lines. No, she is. No, it, it's different with nurses. So she she's looking at it from a medical perspective, and I'm like. She's like, ooh, that's ter terrible. I'm like, what are you looking at? No. And pus is coming out and all this Stop. stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, how are you? How are you watching this? And she's just like, it's interesting. No, it's not. Like, no, it's, it's disgusting. Well, I'm a nurse, and I like watching them because they're because they're awesome and gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's so disgusting, dude. No, there's no medical, there's no medical interest. I'm like, yeah, maybe they should use aseptic technique. Maybe they ought to. <laughs> I do, I do notice stuff like that. Like, well, she, yeah, she that. wants to see, okay, are they going to lance this? What are they oh, going to do? Yeah. The problem is because, you know, my wife working at uh, a major hospital in the Chicago area, uh, she sees all sorts of things. I'm not going to so, lie. I might literally – I, I get very close. <laughs> when I start when I start picturing it in my mind is I get – You do look a little pale. I have a – Yeah, that's pale. my stupid I was gonna lights. Say, I have a friend. You who's guys a on doctor. the podcast see it, but Scott did turn a. He was like kind of a a pinkish reddish color. <laughs> no, now not. he's almost a no, white I'm color. Not, His no, face not. did change. I have a my friend, a very good friend of mine, is a doctor, and he used to do wound care, and so he would take pictures of some of these wounds and things. And he had he was an Android guy, so he had all these. They would all go to his Google Photos. So his wife turns on the computer one day to look at the photos that they share on this Google account and all of a sudden it's just all these hideous wounds like just the most disgusting filth she laughed I was like what it's just it's weird because I don't actually have it to me it's more about I start thinking about myself having one of these things and popping it and that's what makes me sick is the idea of it happening on me I don't know why that is, but I get really, like, it just starts making me go, uh, uh. Yeah, I, I've heard stories um, 
from my wife have to get uh, without any soon. major details, <laughs> but how about, about how she's got to, you know, pack a wound and oh, half a of fist God, goes inside of a about. wound. Man, it's, it's horrible. An, it's an abscess, it never be right? right? Isn't that when it's or an impacted or something like that? Oh, I can't impact, see even the words. I'm starting to have to... <laughs> for a while, and, <sighs> and it's all impacted back in your intestines and all that stuff. Okay, all right, okay. So those so, of you listening, uh, hopefully so. you you know created your own images. Okay, all right. Everybody, clean up and be sure to you know take your fiber. You know, <laughs> avoid infection. Yes, not impacted. <laughs> and uh, you know, clean yourself. You know, scrub that. Exfoliate. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So, wow. I don't. That took a turn <laughs> for the worse. All right. Listen. That was not scripted anyway. No, that was not. That was totally impromptu. So, we were going to talk about. I don't know how you jump from that to Christmas movies, but we were going to talk about <laughs> Christmas movies. Uh, I do. I want to talk about this throughout the month of December because I am. See, Derek and I are both movie people. Bob, it's a joke, but at the same time, it's very true. He's not, he doesn't know a lot of the movies. Or or the other part of it is, I think, and you can tell me if I'm wrong on this, if you do see a movie, you're not a re-watcher. You don't go, oh, I love that movie, let's watch it every year. You don't do that. No, to be honest, I like White Christmas, I've seen once. Um, it's hideous. Some- some of the movies that that I've Sorry, Derek, rewatched like it. were the um, the Hobbit series, the Lord of the Rings series. Um, Great Christmas movie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, the Born <laughs> Ultimatum, the Born Supremacy, that whole Born series. If they're yeah. on TV, I have no choice but to watch them. Okay. Elf, I like Elf. I've seen okay. that a couple times. See, now uh, you're on it. Yeah. So as far as Christmas movies, I think it's probably limited, but I, I you know, I have heard of them. But I, I, I will say, I am. Um, to try to educate myself a little bit more for the show, I am going to start par- partaking in some more of these movies. That way, I'm going to start with like Caddyshack or something. Oh my gosh! Have... Yes, do that. That's good. And, uh, and Animal start... House. Yeah, and start educating myself on some of these movies. Okay. So, I watched last night at the. One of my friends told me, "Have you ever seen Bad Santa?" And I was like, "No, yes. I've never seen Bad Santa." And he was like, oh, you should watch Bad Santa. So I watched Bad Santa. And the thing that blew my mind was this friend of mine is very... he He's not the type of person to like that kind of movie. Hmm. I pretty much let everything... I, I'm, I'm pretty bad. I'll just let anything into my head. I, I've kind of got, like, no filter anymore. I used to be like, oh, the swear words are just too many swear words. Um, I got a good story about that, but let me just say this. So watched Bad Santa, and I was just like, part of me was a little, like, Billy Bob Thornton's character in this movie is so degenerate. He's so depraved that you're just like, what the hell does this have to do with Christmas besides the fact that he's a Santa Claus in a mall? It is unbelievable. I mean, it, it's got funny parts in it, but I think I was just kind of taken aback by how literally it's just like that was one of the th- here's one of the things I was talking to my wife about about the movie last night though you ever notice on movies and TV shows people that drink on movies and TV like in real life you would literally you would kill yourself if you drank the way these people drank in movies and TV you would die wouldn't you Derek maybe probably <laughs> wow like well, over over, over time, probably. You, you, you. Hey, he, Bob, he gave me like a very vague question. There's people right. on movies and TVs who drink, and you, you did that in real oh life. Oh my you gosh! Die, right? You've like, seen, like, you've I seen don't... Bad Santa, right? I've, I've seen. He Bad never Santa, stops yes. drinking in the whole movie. He is always drinking hard alcohol. True. So I'm True, like, but there are people. There feel are people who horrible. He pro- he does probably does feel horrible, but if, if he has tolerance. And he's an alcoholic, oh my and gosh, dude. he's you know it's brutal. He's probably he's destroying his liver, and he's yep. probably not going to live long. But you know what? I don't really consider Bad Santa to be a holiday film. I mean, no, it's a comedy it's, that's it's, set around Christmas time. It's horrible. And I don't usually. I've only seen it a few times, but I don't. It's not like a 
a must watch for me no around the it will not be on my list that's for sure so what have you watched so far derek have you begun on the christmas movies I have not begun. Uh, I have spoke to my wife, and we are going to watch uh, a, a Christmas movie tonight. Okay. And we're probably going to watch Elf. We have it on okay. DVD. That's a great probably one. watch that. But we do watch several throughout uh, the, you know, the Christmas season, which so officially this... begins Thanksgiving afternoon. <laughs> so this brings up a good topic that Bob mentioned before we started the show. When do you start? The Christmas movies. I've watched three Christmas, two Christmas movies so far. One because my wife wanted to watch it on her birthday. Her birthday's around Thanksgiving, so we ended up watching it. Love Actually, which it's a it's a chick flick ish movie, but I like it. It's a good movie. Is that an actual Christmas movie? It is. There's a lot of Christmas. It, the whole that... thing takes place around Christmas. So yes, I consider. It I like Christmas that movie. movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's British. And we all have to watch those movies for our wives. But I, mean, I that's just... but I love it. I do love the movie. I won't. I won't even try and pretend I don't. I love it. My wife's never seen it. What? I, she never has, and I, I keep telling her we need to watch. It's so good. Love actually. We, do you have Netflix? We do have Netflix, it's and I know Netflix. it's on Netflix. Yes. Netflix and chill. <laughs> yeah, Netflix oh, my, and chill. Oh, my my wife is very particular about. Uh, Christmas what, movies, so she likes to laugh during she, them. She's, she's resistant, resistant to change. Okay, so oh, I'll, 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 sneak I'll love actually in there because there's some funny stuff in there. It's the a whole good movie. the whole Bill Nighy or is that how you say his name or Bill Nighy? I think it's Bill Nighy. Science he's the, guy, yeah. He's the rock. No, he's the guy who's <laughs> the rock singer. He's the aging rock singer in Love Actually, and he's hilarious in that. Yeah, so. Bill Nighy. Yeah, there you Bill go. Nighy. Bill Nighy. Bill Nighy. Uh, one of the, so you're not going to think this is a Christmas movie, but I watch every year these two movies because they sort of have Christmas in them. Die Hard <laughs> and Lethal Weapon. The first Lethal Weapon, right at the beginning, he's buying cocaine from these guys at a Christmas tree, uh, like lot, and the one guy has a Santa hat on, which I believe is the guy from Red Hot Chili Peppers, Anthony Kiedis' dad, is the guy that has the Santa hat on. So you're telling me if I have a Santa hat on and I buy cocaine, it's Christmas, regardless of what It is. It's snowing. Yeah, it definitely is. But again, that takes place around Christmas. In Lethal Weapon, there's a number of things that, like, they have their Christmas tree up in Murtaugh's house, the car crashes through the front window, and there's Christmas lights all over the place, and yeah. Now Murtaugh's the the African American um, African American. <laughs> right? He's the guy who says, "I'm too old for this shit." Yeah, that's him. Yeah, his name is uh, Sergeant Murtaugh. Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Danny Glover. There you go. Man, look at look Derek. at me he stepping hit that. Up. He hit that like nobody's business. So. Derek, you're not saying anything about Die Hard or Lethal Weapon. You kind of just went, eh. No? Yeah, I, I know there's a lot of guys out there that are like, my favorite Christmas movie is Die Hard. Come on, it's an action film that is set around the Christmas holidays. It doesn't really feature... It's not about Christmas. But he know? says so I, on the guy's dead body, he writes, ho, 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 now I've got a machine gun. <sighs> <sighs> Well, At Nakatomi Plaza. I'm not going to change my opinion, Scott. At Nakatomi Plaza. The machine gun definitely puts me in the Christmas spirit. Yes, it does. It's a Christmas party yes. at Nakatomi Plaza. Is it Plaza or Tower? I don't. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know, man. You guys are. I don't know, man. Me. We're talking about Christmas movies, and you're bringing up Die Hard and Bad Santa and Lethal Weapon and Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So bring up something besides Elf. Let's hear it. Ernest Saves Christmas. That's never my, seen my it. number one underrated movie, and it's on Netflix. I do believe. Are you? It's serious? an underrated Christmas movie. Ernest huh? Saves Christmas. Really? Yeah. I've never, never seen, seen it. it. No. It's not Tommy Plaza, by the way. I was right. Just, just had to clarify that. Thanks, Sorry. man. That's Thanks. Better. Joe. So Ernest Saves Christmas. Where? When did you did you see that as a kid? And now you I just have a soft spot in your heart for it. Okay, that absolutely. Makes sense. But it's I I don't know. I think if if you have any familiarity with with Ernest, it's one of the stronger films. It's probably one of the best 
of the so Ernest funny. movies. That's not, so not funny that to say. Isn't there like 86 Ernest movies? There's 87, and <laughs> I would say Ernest Saves Christmas is like number two or three. Um, is he the guy who said know set... what I mean? Do what? Does he see the guy that said know what I mean? You know yeah. what I mean, Vern? You know what I mean, Vern? That that movie came out in 1988, by the way. Wow. Uh huh. And I, I think I think Ernest Saves Christmas is 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 good because of the the Santa Claus story. It 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 plays a lot of it does a lot of it goes into a lot of the mythology of Santa Claus, and it's okay. played by I forget, I think his name is Douglas Seal. He did the voice of the Sultan on Aladdin. If you want to, oh. if you want to, but he plays the Santa Claus in Ernest okay. Saves Christmas, and the and the plot is is that. He needs to transfer his title of Santa Claus to another person. Okay. The magic of Santa Claus, like it, he needs to transfer it to another person. He's been he's been Santa Claus for like a hundred years, and he's kind of losing it. Okay, and so he recharges it by finding somebody to to transfer Santa Claus to. Not Ernest. Not Ernest. Ernest does not become <laughs> Santa Claus. Wait, wait. Okay, so. No. You guys know I'm not too too hip on these the movie thing, but didn't Tim Allen do that in Santa Claus? It's called that's called yeah. the Santa Claus. Yes, and that Tim is Tim Allen took on the Santa Claus role. But that was kind of like an accident. He yeah he I don't think he wanted yeah, to be he Santa murdered. Claus. He was kind of like a Scrooge, and he became Santa Claus, right? Because he murdered him. He yeah, Santa did, Claus oh, fell yeah, off he the did. roof. Yes, and then he put on the coat. Oh, okay. Man, look at you guys know these. I don't know those. Those are not in my wheelhouse. Well, that's okay. it. I'm done now. I got nothing else. <laughs> if we talk about Elf, you know Elf. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can find the world's greatest cup of coffee, you know, on that movie because he found it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and Derek loves coffee, so yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, he needs to find that place. So, okay, so Ernest Saves Christmas. So the whole point of it is Santa Claus looking to for somebody to pass the mantle on to. Yes, he, uh, and he has a guy in mind uh, who is like a, he works for like a children's museum, has a television show, kind of like a Mr. Rogers type person. And uh, he's uh, just trying to recruit this guy. But there's shenanigans. Ernest screws everything up. And, of course. And then tries to fix it. Uh, it's... It's cheesy, it's silly, but I love it. But it's only an uh, hour and 35 minutes of your time. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's not bad. It's nice and short. It's... I am a sucker for the Home Alone movies. Yep. And you have to, every Christmas, when TBS plays A Christmas Story all day, you have to watch that on Christmas Day. Bob, have you favorite. seen that one? <clears throat> You'll shoot I've your been... eye out. No, I have not seen that movie. Bumpuses. It's on, it's on my list. It's on my list this year. I've got <laughs> Derek's about to throw his headset. I know. Derek looks pale, like Scott. <laughs> you know, act like he's very red. He looks pissed. But um, <laughs> no, it, it's another one of those. I, I mean, I'm just you not have a to movie watch guy. that one. So this year, I, I've I've actually got a bunch of them that I, I want to sit down and watch. My wife is a huge movie person. She loves movies, um, and I don't. I probably don't spend enough time watching movies with her. So that's kind of my one of my things to do this this holiday season is to really sit down and watch some more movies. What about better. Christmas Vacation? We already know the answer to this. You yeah. haven't seen it. Oh my gosh! And it happens in Chicago. I know. Oh my I'm gosh. a disgrace. No, you're I am. not. I'm you're a gonna watch them though. Have you seen yeah. the Home Alone movies though? Oh yeah, I saw those. Okay, I saw those. good, I mean, good. Because th those came out when I was a little kid. There you go. That I just makes sense. watched them because. You know, it was the most popular thing at the time. So, yeah. I've... Here's my so what Derek Macaulay looks like now. Yeah, he's kind of weird. Macaulay Culkin looks weird now. You're looks cutting it yeah. out, Bob, for some reason. I think it's because we're talking over you. Sorry. That's okay, sir. I'll shut up now. No, no, I want you to talk. So the thing I was going to say is Macaulay Culkin was on. Uh, Jim Gaffigan had a show. That was on for like two seasons now on uh, TV Land or whatever, and then he quit the show to be with his family. But anyway, Macaulay Culkin was a recurring character on Jim Gaffigan's show that took place in New York City. So, Derek, you mentioned Ernest Saves Christmas. That's kind of your. I would consider that kind of a a fringe. Most people aren't going to be like, "Yeah, Ernest Saves Christmas." Um, 
my kind of weird movie that I like, my wife hates it. Hates it. Is Jingle All the Way. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. <laughs> Phil Hartman, rest in peace. I don't know why I like it. I just do. Sinbad's in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh. She doesn't like the kid. She doesn't like mm-hmm. the kid. I don't know. I, my wife has a thing with sometimes with the kids in movies. He, uh, Arnold has another movie called Last Action Hero that had a kid in it, and she hated the kid because he had a bowl cut. He had, <laughs> like, the worst bowl, long, one of those long, like, short at the top, long bowl cuts, and she hated oh. the kid. She could That's like the kid it. from the Santa Claus. You know, we were talking about the Tim Allen Santa yes. Claus. Yes. I that's the reason I don't really like that movie because that kid in that movie what? whines so much. Yes. Oh, I want to go. I want to go, dad. I'm like, oh, I hate it." Yeah. I've I've softened on it a little bit, but that kid is nonstop whining and crying the entire movie Santa Claus. Shame on you, Tim Allen. <laughs> movie company for <laughs> making that part of the script because it's a brilliant concept and this kid ruins it for me jingle all the way the reason i like it is because just like any good christmas movie in my <laughs> mind oh my gosh <laughs> man you could not see that on the podcast <laughs> oh lord wow. bob had a massive explosion of his beer i hope it didn't get on your computer is it okay oh uh- it got on my computer a little bit. Did not get on the microphone though, so that's good. That's good. A little bit on my it's, phone. It, I mean, it exploded. Yeah, this. Uh, I just went to open it up, and it shot everywhere. So Do you have figure anywhere to that say, out. I feel like so there, you need a new laptop. I'm sure there's some like Cyber icy. Monday deals Is that, that are why? still going on. Was it co- yeah. really super cold? No, no. It's uh, it's actually old. That's oh, the problem. Okay. So these were discounted at the liquor store. And I'm oh, like, oh, eh, I'll buy I'll them. Try, they're discounted. I'll try another beer. Who cares? So they're oh like a gosh. year old. They're Oscar they Blues. Ales Pale Ale. Yeah. And beer. yeah, it literally, it's a, it's pretty good, pretty good beer. Um, And it literally exploded everywhere. So do you have anything to clean it up? I mean, you can go ahead and do that and we'll continue talking. You guys continue we're now talking. We're, bringing all, we're bringing all sorts of shame to you by experience, telling everybody what happened. All right, let me no, just say this. Scary. So you guys watch it on YouTube. You guys probably just got a pretty good <laughs> chuckle, too. My whole thing about Jingle All the Way, like any good Christmas movie, is Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a good father. He's a he's an absent father. He doesn't pay attention to his kid. He doesn't pay attention to his wife. He's all about work. He's all about business. And then he he always lets his kid down, and eventually he has to try and make it up to his son. So he has to find this one stupid toy, and that's where the hilarity ensues. Because he and Sinbad are going after it all over the city. It's pretty funny. I, I think it's funny, but it touches me. It makes my heart happy. I need to watch it again. I'll give it another shot. It's not great. I feel great. bad for Bob. It's not great. Oh, because he sprayed everywhere? Yeah. Or because he doesn't watch but, Christmas movies. Yeah, I'm sure there's some Cyber Monday deals that are still going on that he could probably take advantage of if he needs to get a new laptop or something. <laughs> it's actually a work laptop. So if something goes wrong with it, they just you'll just be like, hey, I don't know what happened, but like uh, somebody spilled beer on my laptop. It's crazy. I'm, I'm more worried about it being on my soundboard. Yeah, I know. I can see. It, I I, it felt like it shot all over your laptop as opposed to your soundboard well i'm sitting here the wall is the wall is yeah, i don't know got, it almost hit me. the wall didn't it and yeah it, it went actually went three and a half feet away and went down the wall right to the outlet which i just noticed so let me oh, wipe that gosh. Bzzzt. yeah All right. so sorry about that um i'm sure no those it's of funny you sitting, uh, it's funny for us know. not funny for you but it's funny for us well you know stuff happens so it I is guess what maybe it is. just shouldn't be drinking on the show. Can't have a beer. <laughs> you can't have a year old beer that apparently was under too much carbonated pressure. Right, and it's not nine in the morning. Wait, wait, it is, isn't it? No, I it's not. It's not. Oh, it's Scott, not. Scott, I do have a movie that I I started watching last year. That is one of those historically, you know, negatively reviewed movies, holiday okay. movies. That, okay. Uh, that I watched and I. I loved it, and I'm going to watch it again this year if I can. It's uh, Christmas with the Cranks. 
Yeah, that's not that bad. No, it, it gets really it's... bad reviews. I looked at it today because I was looking through my Christmas movies, and on iTunes, it got it's got like you know the Rotten Tomatoes. They put the Rotten Tomatoes score on it, and they give it like twenty percent. What? Who is that movie? Because I've I've heard of it, but I I honestly have it's no clue. It's another Tim Allen, isn't it? It's it's Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. They yeah. are this. They're a couple. They have an adult child who's going off to like the Peace Corps or something like that. Yeah, and they decide that they're not going to do Christmas. Like, in their community, Christmas is a big deal. Everybody participates and decorates and everything. Yeah. And they've decided they're just going to go on a cruise because the daughter's away in Brazil or something like that. So they they told everyone, we're not doing Christmas. And everybody, like, overreacts and gets pissed off at them. Yep. But they're like, don't worry about it. We're going to go on a cruise. We're gonna have, It's going to be great. Well, then, last minute, the daughter decides she's coming home, bringing her boyfriend. And so now they have to make Christmas happen. They have to put on their big party, and yep. they have to, like, apologize to the community so that they can come together and pull off Christmas for the family. <laughs> You're very passionate about this, and I've got to see it. It's not, it's not bad. It's another one of those he was just saying, though, Bob. It's like a movie that people say bad stuff about, and it's not that bad. Another one that's very similar to that is Four Christmases. Have you ever seen that? No. Four oh, is that where Vince Vaughn and uh, the chick from Sweet Home Alabama, she's won an Oscar, and I can't even remember her name. What's wrong with me? Well, yes. Reese Witherspoon. You, Reese you should, Witherspoon. There you, you go. Know, and who's won an Oscar, you should know everything about them. So uh, Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon, every year they tell their family that they can't see them on Christmas, and they also go away. They go to Tahiti or something. You know, they go on some tropical vacation. So they're standing at the ticket counter at the air, in the airport, and you know how people go around and they'll interview people at the airport, so where are you going this year? <laughs> oh, the, the airport's very busy this year, and they uh, the news stations will go around and interview people at the airport. Well, they happen to interview them and they've told all of their family members that they have to work or they're sick or whatever. So they're on live TV and they get caught. They're busted. So their <laughs> phones their phones start going off and it's their family saying, we see you on TV, so you have to come see us. So, yeah. So it's them having to, because as we know, sometimes when you get together with family, there's, you know, there's all sorts of different dynamics, especially because not only are you seeing your blood relatives, you're seeing if you're married or if you have a, a significant other, you've got to go see their relatives, and there's all sorts of madness that happens. So Four Christmases is, is similar premise, except for instead of them having this Christmas tradition... Now they've got to actually go and be a part of a Christmas tradition. And boy, is it funny. I'm <laughs> sold. I want to see it. I'm sure Vince Vaughn plays the same character he does in oh, every yeah, single... Oh, yeah, he does. And I love it. Every second of it. I'll take it. <laughs> all day. I don't care what Vince Vaughn is in. I've never seen Psycho, which he's in, though. Has anybody seen that? Uh, yes, where he was the, the Psycho stepfather. No, it's, the, it's like a remake of Psycho. Uh, no, I saw him in a movie... Where he was like an evil stepfather, and his his oh, I know his, what you're talking about. His wife the name thought, of it. His, his wife thought he was you know absolutely amazing guy, but when it came to the stepkids, he was just a brutal, brutal person. Oh my and gosh! It, it, towards the end, they wound up finding out that you know he was a murderer and all this stuff. Oh so. gosh! Find that I've never heard of this movie in my life. I'm going to Google it right now. And Google, if you want to sponsor this show, let us know. Speaking of Google, Vince Vaughn's in a movie about Google called The Internship. Also one of my favorite movies. A good one, a good one, a good one. Just because I like Vince Vaughn. And I like, uh, who's the guy who's in movies with him all the time? The Wedding. Owen Wilson? Yes. Owen Man. Wilson? I'm loving this. Derek, you're, Owen, this yeah. is, you're great. I love it. Because I just know their faces. You know their names. Yeah, weren't they I know, in one? I know um, their faces too. Yeah, Owen Wilson's hilarious. I I do wonder, you know, he's got. I mean, that dude's got millions upon millions of dollars. I mean, wh do you feel bad that he hasn't fixed his nose? Or no, that's his trademark, I mean, dude. You think you him. think this? It'd be. Weird I mean, if Scar he fixed it. Was amazing. Are you joking? 
Yeah, that was. I never watched that. That's just looked terrible. I'm still looking for this uh, Vince Vaughn movie. So okay, that's okay. That's all right. So um, all right, we've strayed again off of the Christmas movie topic. I think we'll talk about some of these as we go along throughout the Christmas season. Uh, after Bob finds, or you can just give up at this point. After you find oh. the name of the movie, you said you had a question for us today. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I'll, uh, no, it was Psycho, 1998. He's a stepfather? Yeah, let me see what that was. No, he's Maybe not it a stepfather. Wasn't, he was in Psycho, obviously. He's Norman Bates. If I Google this and I get this before you... Before Bob, Bob. he'll just be like, come on, Bob. I, I never said I was the Google master. I just Google stuff. That's all. Anyways, we'll move on then. So the mystery shop, it kind of goes with... Um, in a sense, a Christmas theme, just because typically uh, this is you run into this uh, at most stores this time of year. So the mystery topic is, what do you do when there's them people standing in front of the entrance at a store and they're trying to get you to buy something or donate money or whatever? What's, what's your first reaction when you see them? And then what do you typically do? I say that because, you know, I, I know what I always do. But right now you've got the Salvation Army in most places. I know in Illinois it is, and I'm sure it is throughout you know, the whole United States. Um, they're always at all the entrances to every store out here. Sure. And do you constantly give something? Do you give once? Do you avoid it altogether? Derek, I'll let you go first. You tackle okay. this one. Well, I went to Walmart this morning. I had to get some groceries. And I heard Salvation Army guy ding, uh, ding, ding, ringing ding, the bell, ding. so I gave a dollar. I sometimes give change if I have like, if I have a little bit extra change in my pocket, I'll throw some change at them. But for the most part, I just kind of go by and I'm just like, hey, you know, what you give to your charities is kind of like between you and God or something like okay. that. So, so I don't I don't always. Uh, I try to give occasionally, but you know, for the most part, I you just you know, walk on by, walk on I by, walk on by. <clears throat> but I do know what Bob's saying because you got a lot of. But you have other the the Salvation Army people. They don't bother you. They don't. No, bother they just you. they just ring their bells and say Merry Christmas and it's Girl that, Scout that, cookies. That, but you got the Girl are, Scouts. I, the, I have seen other like chari- other organizations that s- they'll set up by the entrance and they'll they'll be a little bit more aggressive and sure. oh, yeah. like hey sir would you like to donate to blah 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 and if if I if I if I have an extra dollar or two I I will sometimes send it that way but if if not I just politely apologize like I'm, nope, so sorry. I don't carry cash man I don't have money first of all on me I don't carry physical money ever. So I don't give anything, but I think it would probably be different depending on your personality. So for me, I'll at least acknowledge them and talk to them. I see a lot of people will just walk by, kind of ignore, like not even like just kind of like head down, go through the doors. And here's the thing. They try to get you on the way out, too. So it's not like if you don't talk to them on the way in, you're going to have to not talk to them on the way out. So. I just will at least engage with them and go, yeah, thanks, man, but not today. Have a good day. I say stuff. My wife is just like, she's like laser focused on that door and does not make eye contact. I'll at least say, no, I'm sorry, not today. I say something and just walk past. She's just like, you do not exist. You do not exist. And she walks right through the doors. So I think that's probably the way most people handle it. Or if you have money. You yeah, I'm, see, I'm on, I'm on both sides there. I, I kind of do both in the fact that I don't typically carry cash on me at all. I don't really have change in my pocket. I, I usually don't have anything. No. Um, so it, it all depends on kind of, I guess, my mood and, and how I'm at. I Sometimes I won't engage them at all. I'll just be like, oh, crap, there's kids out there collecting money and they want to sell something. And, yeah. you know, and then I'll be like, what door does not have a kid? That's the door I'm going to go into. You know, And I try to avoid them, but... Or I'll just do the, I mean, just straight to the door, like I'm the mean, grumpy guy and just walk it in. Um, and then sometimes, obviously, if I do have cash or change or whatever, I do throw it in there. But 
you know, my, my charitable stuff we do. I mean, I'll show you guys my W twos. Um, you know, we got, <laughs> we do plenty of our, our charity stuff, but Salvation Army to me is, is one of the best, um, charities to, to get involved with just because they're, they're, they do so much good. The CEO makes minimal amount of money and, and a lot of the money goes towards, you know, local cause. So Salvation Army, I probably act a little bit different, but all these kids and these baseball teams and basketball and cheerleaders and sure. I mean Girl Scouts, I'll get my cookies, but you know everybody else. <laughs> they have something they can at least give you, right? Yeah, yeah buy some right. cookies. Well, most of these other people have like uh, they've got like Kit Kats for you know a dollar, and I can yeah. walk right into the store and buy it for fifty cents. Right, so but it's, it's to help out their little baseball team or whatever. It, I know, I know. That's I, what I, I was get... gonna. S- Go ahead. I get what the point of it is, but you know, sometimes it, it, if we don't have something to give, like I, like my heart's in the right place. I don't mind giving, but if I don't have something to give physically on me, I feel like, man, I got to just avoid this. What movie is that? Domestic Derek? disturbance. There it is. See, I knew it was one. I stopped looking. <laughs> so the, I, I think it's funny that he found it and you're like, I think it's psycho. Um, well, I just I, knew he was a psycho guy. That's all. Yeah. I would. So if I if they pull on my heartstrings, and if you're going to like a grocery store or something, now they have built into like the self checkout. You can you know take twenty bucks out or ten bucks out through your ATM right. or whatever. If if I felt like something to tug on my heart to give to something, I would just do that. But g- like generally speaking, again, I just don't have the cash. So I would have to go. It would be like, hey, let me go to the ATM. I'll be right back. Hey, can you break a twenty? And they'll be like, no. And I'm like, well, I'm not giving you a twenty for a Kit Kat. So, right. okay, yeah, well, that, that was just a, a simple, <coughs> simple question. Just because I know it's that time of the year where we see a lot of the Salvation Army people out there. You know, forget about your kids' sports. Donate to the Salvation Army. Well, I do have a very apt story that actually happened today. I went to the Dollar General. Around the corner, I was going to pick up some envelopes to mail some stuff out. Some of the bigger mailers, the bubble mailers, uh-huh. like y'all, like y'all care. All right? It's not, it's not important to the story. Oh, that's uh, but I, but it was like, it was like three or four bucks or something like that. And as I was checking out, I had cash on me. And as I was checking out, the cashier says, "Hey, would you like to donate a dollar to St. Jude's Children's Hospital?" I'm like, "Sure, yeah." And then. And so the other, there was another girl who is sometimes a cashier. She goes, hey, how come you're giving to her and you won't give to me when I ask? And I was what? Like, I mean, she's kind of joking. <laughs> she's right. kind of joking. I guess they have like a competition going on who can raise the most money Probably. Uh, for, for St. Jude's. But I was like, I don't remember you ever asking. <laughs> but she, she was like kind of pretending to be upset. Like, hey, how come you're giving to her and you and- never give to me when I ask? And again, like, sometimes I just act like a straight jerk, even though I know it's coming out of my debit card. It's like, oh yeah, would you give to uh, sponsor this man? Uh, his leg fell off and he needs a new one. I'm like, no, you know, just straight, a, just straight up, no. Yeah, Not to, yeah. Know. It's like, nickel. it's like when the Clinton Foundation called me after she lost, and they were like, hey, can you donate some money to the Clinton Foundation? I was like, no, because you don't have anything to offer me anymore because you're not going to be the president. Oh, just to let you know, Obama officially said today that Michelle Obama will not run for president ever. And, and you know, she, never... She's too smart for that, is what he said. And you know, never in the history of Democrats has one ever lied to you. <laughs> they have <happen. laughs> Or Republicans, for that matter. Okay. Uh-oh. They're all the same guys. See, I got it. I got it. I got it in today. I got it in. I got it in there. Yeah. Yeah, Oh man, good times. Your color. Your colors return to your face. I got to talk about politics. (laughs) He is a political junkie. I am not. You're obsessed. All right. I'm obsessed with, for some reason, correcting people who don't think the way I do. <laughs> Anyways, Derek. Uh... It's a disease. It's a disease. Oh, oh gosh. Man. All right. So on that note, 
we'll wrap it up. And uh, hey, we had some fun things happen on the show today. We talked a little bit about uh, Black Friday. Pimple popping, yeah. And, and that just somehow turned into pimple popping. And oh then yeah. We got into some of the Christmas <laughs> movies. We we went uh, we took a detour on some of the Christmas movies even, but we did share a few of them. And then uh, Bob's beer exploded. I mean, literally it, it, exploded everywhere. Yeah, it was it, intense. That was kind of a mess, but. Looks like it's cleaned up. Hopefully, uh, when I go to work tomorrow, my computer does not smell like beer. <laughs> it's going to. My boss will be like, man, you had a, you had a rough night last night, huh? Yeah, no, gonna... I just, mistakes happen. That's I it. spilled beer all over my computer right. for my show. Right. I was working really hard and drinking a beer at the same time. and Yeah. Just exploded everywhere and then uh we I'll just play it off with the hose no big deal right and then we decided that uh giving to people walking into stores is kind of an awkward thing and that only one of us out of the three ever carries cash in his pocket that's Derek. i rarely do so we know who to rob yeah so if you want to mug him on the way out of the dollar general you know where to find him he lives in maryland by the way so he lives you, in the just... big state of maryland yeah, the Republic of Maryland. Check out our uh, Facebook page. Hey, we're talking. Check out uh, www. Why did I say www? Nobody says that anymore. And you I hate when you want. do that. Hey, no, we're talking, just, hey, we're talking dot com. There's no apostrophe after the W E, by the way. Yeah, you don't have to do like the World Wide Web at, you know, it just. You know. If it makes you feel better, go ahead. Some people like that. Maybe they're a little neurotic. They have to type in HTTP. Colon, well, that'd be forward slash forward slash www dot hey we're talking dot com. That's a lot to type. Forward slash. And I, and I always get confused between the forward slash and the backslash. Like well, which the one, one that's goes... a forward slash goes that way, and the one that's a backslash goes this way. I think forward to me and forward to you are probably different. So no, forwards that way. Well, it depends on which way you're facing. No, it doesn't. No, not at all. This is a good I'm topic looking... for the next show. <laughs> Maybe it is. We're not going to talk about forward slashes and backslashes. But you we get do... it out now. You yeah. Finish up, the, finish up that topic now. Because we're not going back. So if I'm on the left of my computer, no! forward slash, I'm this on the right horrible. of my computer, I've got a different forward slash. So there you go. Oh, my gosh. So anyway, heywe'retalking.com. Uh, that'll get you to... Uh, Right now, we don't have like a full-on website, but it's uh, it takes you to Podbean, and that's where we're doing the podcast. And then our YouTube channel is just Hey, Hey, We're Talking. I'm gonna have to check. There's a way that we can make it so that it'll be like to you know, YouTube.com/slash Hey, We're Talking. Right now, that's not what it is. But if you look us up, you should be able to find us. And if you're if you're subscribed to any of the three of us, you should be able to get it get to it through there. Bob Wick, and then we have. Derek, are you just Derek Tanner, or Derek, Derek J, or what are you on YouTube? Insta on YouTube, Derek yeah. Tant. Okay, Derek Tant, and then I'm Rambling Scotsman with a Z, all one word. So one of one of us will have it, and then you'll see other videos that we've done, and be like, "What the heck is wrong with these weirdos?" Although Derek always does videos. How many do you do a week? Like, three. Two point three. <laughs> two point three. I don't know. It seems like Sometimes. they're released. I think I feel like they're released on a pretty regular basis. At least I make one a, a lot week. Of, I make a lot of videos. Guys, check out my YouTube channel, uh, Derek Tan. Just type it in, and it'll bring it up. You'll have uh, coffee, have a, and how many subscribers do you have right now? Like 1,000? Uh, like almost 1,000. Almost 1,000. When I hit 1,000, I'm having a big old giveaway. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> He's giving away a Rick Black pipe. <laughs> no, I have. He's gonna those. Give you, those are mine. He's, he's giving away you, a pound of Stonehaven and a pound yeah. of pennies. I have given away a bag of Stonehaven before. No, a pound of Stonehaven. He's no, got I eighteen don't. pounds of Stonehaven mixed with Penzance that he's giving. I, he's got. I don't uh, have that. Pappy Van Winkle homemade whiskey <clears throat> that didn't have work. Some of that left. He's got six pounds of Captain Black Gold. Ooh. God. And uh, Chester Sire Dream or something like that. What's the name of the stuff that you were smoking recently in the big big giant tub? Chester Sire Dream. Wow, you were really <laughs> way off. Um, <laughs> What's the name of it? Chatham Manor. Chatham Manor. It's, I was close. It's like Carter Hall. It's like Carter Hall. 
Okay. Chester Meyer Green. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> wow. Chestershire Green, I said. Oh, I heard. Okay. Sh- anyway. Worcestershire. I heard Worcestershire Worc- Green. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Sauce. Worcestershire Okay, listen. Dream. We have 15 <laughs> seconds. Let's do this. All right. So, <laughs> thanks for watching the show. Uh, I have no idea what we're. Th- this is. If you're listening still at this point, you win a prize, and you Eric will give you. it to you. You win. All right. Thanks for. Lo- thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Peace. Later.